Hi, this is the AM channel, and today I'm going to be talking about my pre favorite prehistoric animals from nothing more than Australia. Now, of course, we all heard of, say, kangaroos, koalas, and also along the coastlines, all the great white sharks and about saltwater crocodiles. But there was also life long before it. Like they did just took over it for them. That's what I'm gonna talk about. So, to start off, so from the Cretaceous, it would have been unknownly to most average dinosaur enthusiast as a dinosaur paradise. And of course, my favorite dinosaurs from there, from the Cretaceous, being my personal favorite, were a time period in Earth's history between 145 and 65 million years ago. From the middle of that period, same time Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus lived. Dinosaurs such as Memby, just about a few feet long, and also the Hysopodon Neonosaurus, around seven feet long, and about this tall. And also, back in the mid 90s, there was a some footprints found in the found in Queensland, Australia, in the Lark Quarry, showing some dinosaur footprints, showing the first and only ever evidence to ever be found of a dinosaur stampede. So. So at first, travel back in time 95 million years ago, probably around 100 million years ago during the mid Cretaceous. And it would have been a riverside, river system, among some sandy land area. And surrounding it were some forests, of course. Where else would you expect? And there would have been, of course, some small chicken sized theropod dinosaur, probably about this tall, and a slightly larger plant eating or different pods, about like this tall. And all of a sudden, there was this predatory carnosaur, probably about as tall, if not slightly taller than. And then a grown person in around 23 feet long called Australopithecus. That would then popped up and stampede and charge after them. And they decided to run away to the safety of the forest. No, we're not too certain if that's actually what happened. And, and actually, just the past year, there was a new species of Tysaurus or sauropod dinosaur that had been founded there and went in Queensland, Australia. It was named after the town was found in Winton, called Winteno Titan. And before that, their largest dinosaur before that would be the 
is Titanus were called. Diamantiosaurus, nicknamed Matilda, while Australopithecus often got the nickname of Banjo. Named after his song there. And also back a couple years ago, back in 2015, There was a larger, a slightly larger carnivorous dinosaur, even larger than Australopithecus, which I actually kind of forgot the name of. Why are we? And there's also the somewhat bizarre and peculiar looking Mutabarasaurus, which can grow about 20 some occasionally 33 feet long and around 8 to 11 feet tall and was a member of the Iguanodon family and there's also Dinosaur Cove down in the very south of Australia And of course, being a sore, of course, being named after the guy in charge of the excavation in that cave. Dar Laven, of course, who is a mayor who, who at one point in the documentary back in the early 2010s did a took part in the dig for a documentary called Arctic Dinosaurs which sort of like bigger than T-Rex also seemed to be very well done where he was learning more about the secret of the, how dinosaurs survive in the North Pole and the South Pole to begin with. But normally when we get probably the coldest places on Earth, normally when we think of dinosaurs, we think of them as living in more tropical environments. Well, certainly Australia's got that. And though back then, Antarctica and, and also the Arctic used to be much warmer back then. So it would be sort of more like Northern Italy or Oregon or Uzbekistan, stuff like that, except way more, except only a lot, obviously, way more human. And there's also that inland sea in Australia, famous for those plesiosaurs and octolized fossils found in the area. And the top predator being the Pliosaur Chronosaurus, around 33 feet long. Which, just like Lyoporodon's over the years been sort of been exaggerated like many things. And a shark recently in recent years this shark called Carbidodon around 23 feet And there's late and later on, two to up until three thousand, probably one 
13,000 years ago, though the most recent documentary I found of it were, was from the late 2000s and early 2010s. So, yeah. Called Mega Wing. Around 26 feet long. So imagine a Komodo dragon. So imagine it being oh, more than twice as big. And also would live to fed on warm large warm boy creatures like like the giant wombats. About this tall. What? Yeah. Like, to be honest, man, the wildlife back one a million years ago, pretty much for most places back then, was weird. Food was weird indeed on there. And a giant kangaroo about this tall named Procoptida in a marsupial lion. And at that point, there was nothing on our planet that was more powerful than it. Of course, the Megalodon just went extinct. And ever since, the dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. At that point, pretty much there, it was pre, because of it, it pretty much freed pretty much the earth of any apex predator exceeding 20 feet. Well, at least there's still the saltwater crocodile, even though it technically spends most of its hunting in water. And also Titanoboa, also in water. It was too big to hunt on land around 45 feet long. And the Megalania around 26 feet. That was pretty much about it. No other pred apex predators that grow that grow quite that bit that exceeded a length of twenty feet. Yeah, yeah. And until that point, back in the 2000, pretty much there have been dinosaurs found pretty much on every continent except there. Yeah, most, and of course, Back in the early days, most of the attention was drawn mostly in Europe and North America. That was until the focus shifted back in the 90s and 2000s when, when the focus shifted to places like China and Australia. The wider way, as usual, I'll make a new video every weekend, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's all I have. As usual, thanks for watching. And subscribe to my channel to watch more videos. But from now on.
Ah. Uh.